Record live on the intronets. Hello, live intronets. On the intronets. Oh. I went to hunting for some raccoon, mm-hmm. but it wasn't there. I got it was no there. tail. It was there. It's fucking with us. Yeah. Uh, you get a nice hat out of it if you uh, catch it. Well, the difference difference will be is uh, later tonight, she'll probably stay up and edit the show. Melissa because, Boone. Because she's fired up to fucking look out for the raccoon. I'm mm-hmm. so tired. And, I'm and, and I will um I will probably. Where did you get that? <laughs> my pocket. My, um. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Pocket what? Mm. Pocket it's, shawarma? It's a sweatshirt shawarma. <laughs> sweatshirt shawarma. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> she is a special, special girl. That is for damn sure. I needed a snack. I thought, I, I thought my steak crostini was good enough. It yeah. was so fucking good. That's why I'm hungry. It was an appetizer. <laughs> Happy tizer. Yeah, there's two more in there when I get yeah. home. So what was the, uh, the you, you still have any of the first one left, babe? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Because I didn't get a cup of it yet. So you, know, you figure out what you want to have. There's a bunch of stuff. I figured there. y'all have had this one. I'll pour yeah. the next one yeah. I open. This is fine. Yeah. It's just a good representation of a West Coast IPA. That's well, it. Now I got all the scarf set and everything. I just ran The raccoon it. fucked everything up. Yeah. You didn't have your set yeah. set. Yeah. It's the first thing you said when we got off, too, yeah. princess. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, yeah, but this is now live. <laughs> People can hear and know that I knew what was going Producer on. Producer Rob wants to know about the raccoon. Um, so we've seen the lights go off. I went and chased it again during the main show. And then... We were out. We were all out there. Who was it? I missed. Uh, uh, record producer Rob uh, uh, Fulham in the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just missed who you said. You're missing a lot. You missed Houston earlier. You missed me now. I you, was worried. Are you hearing anything okay? Hold on. So. I mean, you you did have to go to the the emergency room last week. You, <laughs> I told hey, you. Hey, I hey, told Mel. you. Hey Mel. I hey, told Mel. you. Uh, little Taylor. I've seen some hey. shit. Hey, hey, Graham, Graham got you, R- you need to go lay down. You need to take a nap. <laughs> I've got RTSD, raccoon trauma. I've been dying. Something, whatever. So, You're trying way too hard there. That is, that so was the bad. second we turned off the patio lights, we saw the lights back around the coop go off again. Mm-hmm. And then we heard it, which it, we didn't see it. So it could have been a fox. It could have been a deer. That's not making me feel better. But it went into, well, the foxes don't come near us. They don't fuck with us. It's the fuck fox that fuck with us. Yeah. That's why we call them little fuck fox. Because they're little fuck fox. Is that raccoon? Yeah. No, that's what we call, yeah. That's um, Big B's, his uh, chew toys. We call them little fuck fox. Um, that's the second, sure. mm. oh, the second one. This was the second one? Yeah. It looks remarkably close to the first no, one. No, it doesn't. That is pink and that is orange. Now that they're next to each okay. other, they look different. Mm, that is I, blush and bashful. Can I get both, please? Blush and bashful. <laughs> No, no. Well, I didn't know if we had enough cups. Should I just start throwing them individually, one at a time, at her? No. All right. So this is blush. Mm Mm-hmm. And then number two is bashful. Heard. Still nothing. Orange is not blush. Still nothing. So you're no, you don't admi- get the reference. You're admitting nothing, that they look nothing. closer. Oh, no. no reference. Uh-huh. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody gets the reference. Nobody. That was easy. Uh, didn't bring to the game not, not just, just the, the basics, basics of football. football I believe I mean, the basics of life. life. <laughs> Do they bring him back for a second go round? Oh, if they, <laughs> I would. Put it straight, but it's right there, right there. Every oh, I'd become. The worst part is the squad isn't terrible. It's not. I don't think it's a Champions League squad, Mm. but it's not terrible. Yeah, there was uh, there was a lot of stuff we could have gotten into. I just didn't feel like getting into. I just can't believe the cost saving measures asked them to what they what now is their biggest rival. Mm -hmm. They asked them for a. A seat on their Keeping plane. Keeping you awake there, killer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A seat on their Obviously. plane. All this raccoon chasing's got me tuckered out. All right, well, let's do the EFL show, kids. It's the most I'm, I've been in nature in a long time. I might not know. <laughs> hey, I'm Jordan Bayek from Foxborough, Massachusetts, and I support West Bromwich Albion. And you're listening to the Arsenal podcast. Mm. Nope, wait, nope. It's the DU football show. 
I, I just figured, you know. It's not bad. Yeah. Haven't used him in a while, and we always play the David, you know, the Gecko one. Of course. Or, or as his close personal friends know him, Gek. You know. I figured that would be a fun one to play this time. Any team that was managed by the Sausage Roll King, I'll take something for. Let's start the show. Born in the land of Bowie, Maryland. Bred to be a fan of fucking Everton. Put you in the eye and drink your rye. Sam Houston. Sam Houston? Arsenal fans have another Sam. Right A.A. the fucking Gooner Graham. Smell the Lord, but straight in short, Sam Graham. Sam Graham. Fucking United! Fucking United! Hello and welcome to DU Does EFL, a brief bias recap of the rest of English football as told by two common American That's schmucks. us, baby. I am your host, Sam Houston, and across the way from me, uh, dealing with way too much outdooring, my co-host, Mr. Big Samuel time. Graham. I don't do the outdoors too much. No, no, not too much at all. I don't like you it. tell that by your long flowing locks. I don't like it. No, not one bit. And of course, on the ones and twos, the raccoon hunter. Producer Mel. I mean, you know me, Hills and Trees Mel. I'm always on guard against the raccoons this, trying to get to my chickens. This we know. This we definitely know. I've gone definitely full know. country she, out here. She said on guard. Well, ah. um, we need to get her a sword. <laughs> uh, real quick before we get too into it, this is what we call a moral obligation, boys and girls. There's that much left. Graham, do you want any of it to uh, uh, finish well yourself off? I might a little bit in here. Oh, okay. Finish myself off. Yeah. Now my job makes me want to do that, Sam. Yeah, it's well, fine. Don't worry. It is end of month, and it is the start of OND. <sighs> so the uh, quote-unquote fun time for Mr. Graham. And uh, uh, before I get into the the rest of this, I'm going to pour a little something for Mel and I. I'm sure you want no part of it. I'll take a touch. Okay, very just, good. I Producer might as Mel. well. Just a touch, because I'm not a I huge just had fan. a bite of shut shirt shawarma. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> Sweatshirt shawarma. <laughs> We're recording at the DU Public House just outside the nation's capital. You can check us out wherever you get your podcasts. And, of course, streaming live every single Monday night. Should you want to chat with us, there is many ways that you can. Mr. Graham, tell the good people how they can get in touch. Thank you. It is at DU Football Show on all the social medias and DU Football Show at gmail.com to get in touch. By email. Also, make sure you're joining the Drunkard United FC closed Facebook group. It's where all the hashtag bans happen. Uh, and you can interact with other like minded, um, you know, not as good as the Premier League teams like yourselves. We are not drinking the exact same shit as last time. So, Sam and myself both work in the wine and spirit industry and both have a deep, passionate love for all things distilled spirits. So, as the red blooded Americans we are, we've got to have a drink in our hand throughout this show and every single show. Oh my God, it smells so good. Uh, hey, Mr. Uh, Graham, uh, you took a little one for the team because you have a <sighs> absolute hatred of uh, things that are coconut. Coconut uh, all tastes How? like banana boat to me. Yes. So, so um. Uh, and cinnamon. I fucking hate cinnamon, we're, too. We're doing a little rum today. Uh, this is actually uh, Plantare. Uh, this is their coconut rum. They are very well known for their pineapple rum. They're not very well known anymore because they changed their name. Well, yeah, they used to be a different name. Because of the, was... the woke leftist media. <laughs> okay, settle down, stud. <laughs> um, so the name of the, the brand used to be Plantation. Don't say that too convincingly uh, in front of a red banner. <laughs> uh, obviously, the connotations Fair. that go along with that name, they decided to change their name to Plantare. This used to be Plantation. Um, right, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's exactly. what I just yep. said while you were, you were over there yeah. running your mouth. But uh, Mel made comment on my communist banner. One thing, one thing that... Uh, See, he's professional. That's how he plows people, through while we have conversations on the side. Exactly. And people really know them for, uh, they do exceptional rums. They do uh, really fucking baller great cognacs. But uh, with their rums, they're very much, they do each individual island. They kind of highlight them. And it became very well Can known we for, for their pineapple. I've had it before. Okay, I just I'm haven't drank it yet. So go right ahead and start drinking. They're very well known for their pineapple, the Stiggy's pineapple. And the main reason why they're so well known for it, it's not very often you hear hipster douchebag bartenders go, 
oh my god did you have the pineapple rum and it's because that pineapple rum is that fucking good it's fucking delicious where they use um they're five years phenomenal they use queen Mm -hmm. victoria uh pineapples which are only available once a year Mm -hmm. and uh so when they produce it they produce it once a year and it used they to be used something to make a smoky pineapple too. Yeah, they don't where make they it put anymore. it put it in the Isla yeah. barrels. I've been on the lookout for one of those. If I see it, I'm buying. We it. haven't had, since short. we've had the brand. We haven't had it. Yeah. Interesting that they add the color. I guess yeah. just to give it that. Uh, but they also they finally decided to do a con- uh, a co- coconut version, and this one um, every bottle has upwards to a entire coconut of natural coconut flavor mm. in it, and for me. Um, Gives off almond joy all day, like mm-hmm. yeah. big time almond joy. It, 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 I mean, I mean there's some ice is something I would just step on. This is mm-hmm. definitely at least, at least, SPF thirty. Mm-hmm. On this See to one. me, I don't get any suntan lotion out of this at Not all. At all, Not all more than a little bit. All coconut to me tastes like banana right. boat suntan lotion. Right. And that's I don't, why I hate fucking coconut. I don't begrudge you that thought with most coconut, but not this. This, I would say, has zero I'm suntan. You, that co- co- coconut cartel rum mm-hmm. I represent. Mm-hmm. Banana boat. Mm-hmm. This, banana boat. It's all. It's coconut. Almond joy tastes like banana boat. It's what does all coconut, coconut taste like? Mm. Banana boat. Actual coconut tastes like banana yes. boat. Yes. So okay. shaved Producer fucking Mel. coconut. Yes. Mm. Producer Mel, I do vow for you. Mm-hmm. Um, we do still have some Stingy's pineapple as well. So Ooh. I vow... That uh, this weekend, when you're all done with all your tours and you're finally finished, I'm going to get you a big cube on Sunday night. I'm going to pour equal parts coconut and pineapple over top of it for that you. Sounds good. Um, what What do you think? Because really, ultimately, this bottle was bought for you. It is. There's no sweetness really to it at all. Mm. Tastes like natural it tastes coconut. Like natural coconut. You can taste like when you get the little bit of that rind of the coconut and that flavor that comes with it. That dryness comes through. Uh, it still tastes like rum. I mean, it's still rum, which I'm I'm not a big fan of rum, but this is one of those times where I make an exception because I love coconut rum. Yeah. But this is just, this is what I feel like an adult should be drinking if they're going to drink coconut rum. And for... Not Malibu. And honestly, for $15 more a bottle, yeah. you can get a far superior product. Like, don't it's buy... It's also absolutely worth it. Yeah, don't buy a $15... Yeah. Don't buy the $15 fucking Bacardi. Sorry to... Or, Ma- or Malibu. Or yeah. Malibu. Buy the $30 Plant it's, Array. It you tastes, will taste the difference. It's it, well, it's like when you buy... When you buy... When you're cooking and you buy coconut milk at the store. The stuff you get from H Mart tastes much different than the stuff you're going to get from Safeway. Yeah, very true. And you get more of the coconut and not as much of the sweet. Mm. Coconuts aren't all that sweet by themselves, and that's that's, that's the best part of this. Very good, very good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Now, I know I've been been meaning to get my hands on this for a while now and uh yeah mr graham if you see the smoky pineapple i have buy it yeah i've seen it once before 100%. i didn't buy it i went back it was gone right and so that's one of those things if you see it buy it because if i see it i'm definitely buying it um particularly considering that it has the old label name on it i imagine most places i've gone to i'm seeing the old labels are gone i would imagine their supplier as a brand probably went get it all off the fucking shelf is probably yeah. what they did yeah yeah 100 percent. yeah it is especially for the reasons that they chose to do that they right. they would want that going as as fast as possible mm-hmm. yes producer mel championship corner i've fallen and i can't get up oh no produced like a schedule and a moving on. She was a, proud of herself too, hand in the air, like ooh. ooh. Now look, like, look how chuffed she is eating that fucking shawarma. Yeah, uh, s- s- sir, sweatshirt, sweatshirt shawarma. Yeah, that's how that's how she rolls. Shawarma. <laughs> Sunderland have opened up a five point lead at the top of the table, winning both of their matches this past week. Uh, Burnley drew both of theirs. Yes, sir. I would say that means fuck all at this point. Right. It's, it's just happy update uh, because the games are, there's literally 400 league games between now and Christmas. But we did mention last week how this tends to start, we start to see the separation in these in double part, weeks. Yeah. Well, I, I think here we, we what we see really is sectional separation. Yeah. Because this was also. Sense. So like top eight 
will mm-hmm. separate themselves. You'll have four or five points here or there, but in inside of that. But those four or five points, as we just talked about yeah. on the main show uh, a little bit ago, those five points could be eaten up in two games. Top six was divided by four points last week. It's now now a five point lead at the top right. to second place to second and third. Uh, Burnley drew both of their matches. Leeds won and drew, and uh, they go level on points with Burnley. But goal differential has Burnley ahead. Uh, the Blades lost their second straight match, but rebounded with a win over the weekend. West Brom drew both of their matches, including. Boy, boy. Including one of those was against Blackburn, who is in sixth. And uh, Blackburn had a um, had the draw with West Brom and a loss. So again, <laughs> some actual separation. But even for Blackburn, Middlesbrough, Norwich are right on their fucking heels, like right in. Yeah, the thick exa- of it there. they're they're not far away. You're absolutely yep. right. Blackburn also uh, just quick caveat: the only team that was excited to see West Ham beat Manchester United <laughs> this past uh, weekend, yeah. because uh, if you'll remember correctly, when Blackburn lifted the Premier League title, mm-hmm. it was because on the <laughs> final day of the season, West Ham, I believe, beat Man United, but might have just held them to a draw, mm-hmm. one of the two. And famously, as they were presented the Premier League trophy, saying uh, we're forever blowing bubbles um in yep. the uh in the uh, changing room with a trophy and uh, a lot of champagne a lot of champagne a lot of champagne absolutely a lot of champagne we talked about what an important week this was for pompey it was a really bad week for pompey. they have a highway named after them and they showed why yeah yeah um <laughs> it's they, fair to say they lost they lost to uh cardiff on tuesday and wednesday on friday Never gets old. Well, it's really hard when you're trying to play a game from two days ago today. <laughs> exactly. It's not easy. You know, uh, <laughs> they are in dead last, and they are four points away for safety right now. It's not looking good at the moment. No, no. And with, with, with shames, what is a shame? And I, they need to strengthen, honestly, in January as, right. as best they can. Um, they don't have a shit ton of money, but they're not hurting like they used to be. Right. Uh, what What we need from them is to do enough to stay in the league because Southampton are definitely getting relevant. We have to have the fucking and South I Coast. need a South Coast Derby in my life. It's yeah. been far too long and uh, we, we just need to see it. It's just dude, simple as that. Dude, next year in the championship, right, we could have the Sheffield Derby, mm-hmm. the Old Farm Derby uh-huh. because Ipswich can come back down. Yep. We could have the South Coast Derby, right, and, then, and yes, the South Coast Derby because right. that's what it is. Right, that is the South Coast Derby, and we could also have um, if Burnley doesn't go up, we got Burnley Blackburn, which is the oldest derby from when the first fucking twelve teams were playing. Yeah, like they haven't played each other yet this season. We're gonna fucking like that'll be one I know I'm gonna watch. Right, yeah, the, you know? the game in full. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. so we're we're talking about it, and that's definitely one I get Brett to send mm-hmm. in a little talking point about for damn sure exactly right. um but yeah right now four points from safety so they we, it's not we, good we, they got to pick it up a lot of draws but there's time a lot of draws so not a ton of losses in 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 the regards to everything but a lot of draws so they need to start getting some three points here they've only got one win on the season league one has seen reading shoot up the table winning both matches this week and five of their last six they are now in sixth place mr graham we like to call that the du bump goddamn right <laughs> we called it we told them what to do we and goddamn talking did they, about them and yeah. did they oblige sorry russ by the way for all the gds but i they are just shooting right up up the table the goddamn table yeah that's right <laughs> exactly and uh, uh looking good now uh talked a little bit with colin he had said they've been smoking mirrors it's been a lot of gutty you know it's not what off. i thought you were gonna say you like g- gutty one nothings and stuff like that uh he's concerned about this weekend they have not won at stockport in 53 years so Ooh. he's uh Little nerved a about, time. little nerved about that one. Although, <laughs> yeah. although stock parts started the season real hot and fell right back to the pack quickly. So, you know, if there's going to be a time to sounds like an election me, year stock them. market. Yeah, this is yeah, exactly. <laughs> you go for it, Dad. Damn. All right, <laughs> rushing it today, Mel is what that's called. Okay, Wickham. <laughs> Wickham Wanderers have moved into second place um, as they won both of their matches and Wrexham drew both of theirs. Now, 
If they, I'll say it now, mm-hmm. if they win League One, mm-hmm. Wickham, uh-huh. they get Wakambi status. They get Wakambi status? Cox out. Cox out for Wakambi? <laughs> heard. I I just remember the last time they went up to the championship. That was uh, when they uh, had the uh, gentleman that played up front for him that kind of resembled the same build as Jordan Steele. If yeah. you know, you know. <laughs> um, yes, producer Mel. Wickham wandered into second place was right there. Uh, I know, but it just... True. Hey, He's produ- not very good at writing cheesy copy. Oh, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hey, producer Mel, <laughs> go ahead and unmute real quick. Yeah. How about I write the show, <laughs> you produce the fucking show, okay? I mean... You can go right ahead and hit mute again. Get right back to it. We just so Actually, could you go to the kitchen and grab me a shawarma? <laughs> some... some <laughs> You see, you see, Graham in marriage sometimes can give him a little pep talk, a little, <laughs> a little, <laughs> a little <laughs> remind him, how, remind him how things are going around here, <laughs> what, what the what the standard operation and practices are. You just gotta let him know, you know, that's just how it works out. Uh, and I also the, think it's standard operating procedure there uh, on that acronym, a, sir. Well, that's just saying. Okay. Well, sometimes hey. you have to call your husband out when he's wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> and, and, and sometimes you got to run up. Sometimes you got to run up to the coop and stand by your man. Okay. That's all there is to it, stud. It's here to protect. Uh, Birmingham City stay in first place, although their big match over the weekend, they did draw Mansfield Town 1 1 and Mansfield sitting fourth. Mm. Um, fourth <clears throat> isn't bad, though. No, no. Again, th- these leagues here with 24 teams in them. Have a, a ton of football. In particular, so if you're staying Mansfield and Wrexham both just got the promotion, and they're if you're there thereabouts, yeah. Themselves. If you're there thereabouts <laughs> at, at this stage of the season, you know, 10, 12 games in where, where we are in the in the lower leagues, you're doing the right things. Yeah. What you need to do is make sure you're in these same positions coming out of Christmas, and then yep. you're giving yourself a chance. You're really giving yourself a chance. <laughs> Uh, Port Vale won both of their matches, and their lead in League Two grows to four points. So similar to what we were talking about with the uh, the championship last week, it was two point. No, I think they were all level level on points. Every single one of them were level on points, one through four. So it was just goal differential separating them. So right. got a little bit of a bump that helps them quite a bit. Um, they're over top of uh, Wassel, Knotts, and uh, Doncaster, who are all sitting on 26 points. Shrimps were not out this week. Mm. They got ooh, ooh, not good. Kind of, you know, what, what ended up happening, a little, little domination, got told, hey, you got a shrimp, is essentially what they got, <laughs> as they lost 3-0 and 5-2 to Wimbledon and Chesterfield. Chesterfield's one of the teams that got promoted from the National League. Mm-hmm. They're sitting around eighth place right now. They're showing a little bit of an account yeah, they, themselves they, as well. they are, absolutely. But at the same token, I will say that Morecambe can lose Ambi status. <laughs> yeah. Go and back we'll to put our Morecambe. shrimps away. If, if they, they could if, go back if, to if being down. Morecambe and Wakambi could prevail. Okay. No, well, you if, gotta... if things... Don't go right. Heard. Uh, And then uh, they are now five points from safety, sitting in dead last. Not great. Aki lost to MK Dons, but they drew Wassel, who's third place. So, I mean, I'm sorry, second place. So, good on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are sitting in 20th place, and they are five points clear of the drop right now. So, good recovery. Again, just keep picking points up. Just keep putting points on the board. Mm -hmm. Draws and wins. Draws and wins. That's all that matters. Uh, You know, as Aki is figuring everything out right now, which uh, I would really love to talk with Ben about soon, uh, maybe maybe that can work out in the next few weeks for international break. The for them, they just need to finish thirteenth, fourteenth place. Yep. You know, just kind of reset yourself because also as teams like Wrexham shoot up the ranking, there's not going to be teams like that in the National League coming up taking the players that they would normally be grabbing. So I think they'll be all right. Uh, I did want to take a quick look at the National League, uh, Mr. Graham. York City sit in first place on 35 points, but right behind them, apparently Eaton Kale works okay in the National League. Forest Green Rovers are sitting in second place on 34 points. 
that's not too shabby. Though. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. Got a little re- report from uh, from the old uh, grass eaters. They are sitting in second place. The grass hopefully, eaters. Hopefully get well. I mean, that was your fucking joke all it the time. It is my so, joke. You're right. So I just figured I'd revisit it for you. Oh, um, that's going to wrap it up. Mr. Graham, any parting words? I don't have any parting words other than get ready because the lower leagues are coming thick and fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's uh, it's going to be hard to keep up with. <laughs> so make sure you're paying attention. Get excited because you're going to be seeing three of these teams next year. Yeah, got nothing to do on a Tuesday or Wednesday and you want to watch a little footy? Go on to Paramount Plus. There's probably a fucking game on. Mm-hmm. Or go to ESPN Plus for the championship. But... You'll find games. There will definitely be fucking matches for you to find. That's for damn sure. Yeah, 100%. All righty. Well, uh, next up is uh, injury time where we're going to preview the next weekend's action for the Premier League. We're going to talk about the beers we're drinking, catch up on the Ibs, and our Fantasy Football League. Should somebody want to help support the show, Mr. Graham, how do they go about doing that? It's very easily, uh, easy, actually. It is uh, patreon.com forward slash the football show. Just sign up to that one $5 tier, and you'll be able to find all of that wonderful wonderful extra content you could have kept with easily and said that's very easily done and you know then let them that way but you know yeah. you know you you like to point out my shortcomings when i say the wrong word so it's just just do it turn right? about his fair play just fucking do it is all i'm saying okay till next week everybody good night